Good day, everyone. Today, I'm excited to talk to you about cellular respiration, the vital process that enables our cells to produce energy. To begin, let's define cellular respiration. It is the process by which cells convert glucose, a simple sugar, into adenosine triphosphate, ADP, the energy currency of the cell. This process is essential for powering various cellular activities and maintaining life. Cellular respiration can be categorized into two main types, aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration requires oxygen and produces a greater amount of ADP, while anaerobic respiration occurs without oxygen and yields less energy. The overall equation for cellular respiration summarizes the process. Glucose and oxygen are transformed into carbon dioxide, water, and ADP. Let's dive deeper into the first stage, glycolysis. This process takes place in the cytoplasm, where one molecule of glucose is broken down into two molecules of pyruvate. Glycolysis yields a net gain of 2 ADP and produces 2 NADH, which are vital for the next stages of respiration. Next, we have the Krebs cycle, also known as the citric acid cycle. This occurs in the mitochondria. Here, pyruvate is converted into acetyl-CoA, which enters the cycle. The Krebs cycle generates 2 ADP, along with 6 NADH and 2 FADH2, while releasing carbon dioxide as a waste product. The final stage is the electron transport chain, which occurs in the inner mitochondrial membrane. Here, the electrons carried by NADH and FADH2 are passed through a series of protein complexes, ultimately combining with oxygen to form water. This process is crucial for producing approximately 34 ADP through oxidative phosphorylation. Now, let's compare aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration requires oxygen, leading to higher ATP production and yielding carbon dioxide and water as byproducts. In contrast, anaerobic respiration does not need oxygen, resulting in lower ADP production and producing either lactic acid in animals or ethanol in yeast. Fermentation is a specific type of anaerobic respiration. In muscle cells, it leads to lactic acid fermentation, while yeast undergoes alcoholic fermentation, producing ethanol and carbon dioxide. This process allows cells to generate energy when oxygen is scarce. When we sum up ADP production from cellular respiration, we find that glycolysis produces 2 ADP, the Krebs cycle yields another 2 ADP, and the electron transport chain contributes about 34 ADP. This totals approximately 36 to 38 ADP molecules per glucose molecule, showcasing the efficiency of aerobic respiration. Cellular respiration is fundamental for life. It provides the energy necessary for growth, repair, and maintaining homeostasis in our cells. Without it, our cells would be unable to function, leading to a breakdown in vital processes. In summary, cellular respiration is a multi-stage process that converts glucose into ADP, supporting various cellular functions. It includes glycolysis, the Krebs cycle, and the electron transport chain, and it can occur in both aerobic and anaerobic conditions. Understanding this process is crucial for appreciating how living organisms sustain energy. Thank you for your attention. Now, I'd be happy to answer any questions or engage in discussion about cellular respiration.